everybody, it's Bumps the Night here with another book pickup video. So let me show you what I found this week. Uh, my mom actually picked these up for me while she was out hitting the Goodwills for the sales they had going on this week. So we got a classic reprint of Horrorland, classic reprint of Deep Trouble, classic reprint of The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, classic reprint of Attack of the Mutant, and then a newer print of The Ghost of Slappy. So. It was really nice of her. She picked them up while she was out and about, and uh, it was a nice surprise. So, I went up to that one bookstore that I frequent probably once a month, or maybe once every two months, but I post about it a lot on here, so if you follow the channel, you should know what I'm talking about. But I came across this. Yeah, it was like a Goosebumps Mega Haul, and it was actually tough to pick and choose because I didn't want to take the entire lot. Now that I'm kind of like got a full collection, unless it's a really good first edition, a really hard to find book in general, or just it has the inserts in it, I'm probably not picking it up. But if it's one of those three, definitely picking it up. Like, for example, first thing I picked up out of that lot was a copy of the TV Presents Monster Blood books. Now, I know on my channel I said I don't really collect them, and it's one of those things where... If I see them, I'll pick them up. And actually, I do regret leaving behind the Go Eat Worms one. I thought about it, and I was like, man, I probably should have grabbed it, but I didn't. Like I said, I'm not supremely hunting them. I know the last couple of them are getting expensive. If you look right now, this one, number 15, is going for $100 on thrift books. Do I think it's worth that? No. You get on eBay, these are selling for about 20 bucks a pop, which kind of leads me into the next part of the video before I get to the rest of my pickups. I see a lot of people constantly come back to my Goosebumps price guide for the year. And that's one of my like my highest watched videos for not only this year but last year. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a monthly check-in where I kind of pop in and I'm like, hey, this, 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 and this. Here's your rarities. Here's what you're hunting. Here's the price value on you. And then maybe at the end of the year we see where the value of them went and how far they kind of like skyrocketed and jumped. It's an idea, but considering people constantly seem to go to those, it makes me think. So anyway, I picked up this. This is an extra copy. I checked my collection. Mine was better, so this one will be going to eBay. I posted on the Facebook groups, but then I realized, oh shit, I don't use PayPal anymore. I don't have a way to like get cash from people because I don't do Venmo. I don't do Cash App. I don't do any of those like money apps. I don't trust them. So I did, however, have somebody reach out to me and let me know like in my actual city who was looking for some of these. So the ones that they want, I'm going to sell them for cash. The rest are going to my eBay store. Next at that same Goodwill, I came across a 2000s book. They actually had two 2000s books, which... To me, this is crazy because I never find 2000 series books, but if I do find them in the wild, it's usually at this place. So this one actually is a first printing. Uh, my copy is a second printing. you think I'd switch them out, but this one is just in rougher condition than mine. Between the sun fading on the spine, the yellowing of the pages, like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's in really good condition. It's just mine's in better condition. So as much as I would like to keep it, just can't do it. Then I picked up a copy of Give Yourself Goosebumps number 42, All Day Nightmare. This was the last official Give Yourself Goosebumps books before they stopped printing them. I think there were a couple of special editions that came after, but as far as I understand, this was the last original printed one in the series. So this one kind of goes for some money. Most Give Yourself Black Spines do. Uh, once again, it's not in bad condition. It's actually, if I remember correctly, this was a second printing, which, yeah. So it's neat to know that this was printed at least more than once. But it's, it's not in bad condition per se. Like if you didn't have it, you'd be happy to have it in your collection. But, you know, it's been re well read and there is a little damage to it. So it did not take its place in my collection. I think the biggest letdown was probably that like, crease on the cover there. I don't know if you can see it right there, right across the wolf's mouth. So All Day Nightmare did not replace anything in my collection as well. I also came across a couple of Bleach Omnibus. Now I already have the first one. They had the second one, which was two, three, and four, four, five, and six, but it was beat to hell. It had water damage here, and the front was bent, so I didn't take it. But they did have books seven, eight, and nine, which is where we're kind of getting to the Soul Society arc in Bleach. So you guys know I said before in a past video I'm planning on collecting these because they save space. Originally, I'm going to trade all my Naruto in so I can get the Naruto Omnibus too, but that's in time. So I picked this up. was pretty happy to grab that because now that they're out of print in the Omnibus, they're kind of stupid expensive. Last but not least, up at that Goodwill, I didn't film this part, but I did come across a Blu-ray copy of Coraline, which Coraline is one of my favorite movies. I really enjoy the book as well, so 
I had it on DVD. I never got around to picking it up on Blu-ray, but for three bucks, I was like, yes. So I'm going to be getting rid of the DVD copy and putting this in my collection. All right. Different Goodwill, but same weekend. And I came across this. Now, this is a Demon Slayer coloring book. Now, these sold for about 15 bucks. I got this one for $2.99. And I flipped through it. It's not used. So, uh, I actually enjoy sitting down with my wife. And it's, I don't care what you guys say, we're adults. We color. So, I was hyped to grab one for anime. Uh, she usually colors like the, the woodscapes and like the goblin core stuff. But, yeah, here we go. So, I got my own now. And then last but not least, Walmart's getting rid of like all their physical media, and I've talked about that in the past like pickup video as well. My best friend happened to be at a Walmart out of town picking his wife up on a trip, and he came across a couple copies of Talk To Me on Blu-ray for $3. So I grabbed a copy because I haven't seen it yet, but I love horror movies, and I'm a big believer in physical media. So yeah, uh, that was my whole pickup. With that being said, things are changing. This is probably the last time you'll see a video in this space uh, because we are moving. Now, where I'm going is not important, but just know the next video I shoot in person is definitely going to look a little different. It could look similar depending how they set the apartment up, but I do like filming it from the bookshelves here, but we'll see. So with that being said, hang tight. Check out the podcast if you've ever done so. Goosebumps Podcast Can Be Murders, one that I film, edit, and distribute. It's here on YouTube. If you want to be a part of it, we have a link in the Discord. I'm going to link that down below. Why don't you hop in there, and then you can check it out. If you want to be a part of the podcast, you want to review a book, you want to be part of a Give Yourself Experience, let me know. With that being said, thank you for watching. I appreciate your viewership and have a scary day.